Hi, my name is Mark Britton. I'm the DC of training at the Melton Units. Today we're going to look at, have a virtual tour of what you would do, the steps you would take if you're actually going out on a job. So we've got a job at the moment and we've got a member coming in and going to park his car. We always park um, with the vehicle backed in. So just so it's easy to get out and we don't have to worry about seeing what's behind us when we are leaving after we've completed our job. So when we get here, we just need to use the fob to unlock the door so that we can enter into the unit. We need to make sure we move our button across just so that we know who's in the unit and who is not in the unit. Locker area where we can get changed. So in the area we just put our um, overalls or two-piece on, whichever one you have, making sure we've got all the correct PPE. So helmets, boots, belt, torch, before we go and check the radio. So everyone has their own individual locker in here so that everyone's got their own stuff and their own personal stuff kept in there. We try and keep the, this area as clean as, as possible so that it doesn't matter who comes in, we're not tripping over anything and causing damage or hurting ourselves. If there's a difference between a code one and a normal job, if we do have a code one, we want to be in and out of here really, really quick. So. We, we get in and get changed straight away, whereas if it's a normal job, we don't have to be as quick. Okay, so once you're ready, you come out to the loading bay, you take the chain down, the chain is used just as a safety. We gun. come into the bay and we open up the roll door. We'll grab the keys, put our name magnets on the correct vehicle that we're going to be taking, and then Sanitise our hands and grab the radio. Also, we will get a cooler bag where we put some water in there so that we have water for the job that we're going to. So the cooler bag will go into the truck. Ready to go. Then we will grab the Pelican, which has been charged since the last job, and pop that into the truck as well. Next we will grab the correct radio in relation to the vehicle that we are taking. Once all members are in, we will go to the job. Normally the first member that comes will get the vehicle out, park it out the front, ready to leave as soon as all the rest of the members are out. Remembering that only members that have had approved to drive the vehicles can actually drive them. So now the vehicle is out there waiting for the rest of the members to turn up, as we have to have at least two members go, we cannot go out there with one member. Okay, so that's the normal procedure for when we're going out on the job. When we come back from the job, we're pretty much doing everything in reverse, making sure the pelican is put back on charge, making sure the radio is put back on charge, wiping the radios down too, um, with the door, we press the down arrow, which will take the door down. So, when we're pulling the door down, we don't want anyone walking in between the two yellow sensors. It will stop the door and make the door go back up. We put the cooler bag away. Any water that we haven't used, put back in, into the fridge. We'll then go take our uniform off, fill out any paperwork that needs to be done for the job. Um, wipe ourselves down with um, the sanitizers, 
wipe the vehicle down, the handles and any equipment that we have used. Um, once all that's complete and everything's done and the paperwork's finished, we just sign out um, and lock up and then we can go and make sure all lights are turned off. Thank you very much for listening and hope this has helped you for what you would normally do on a normal job.